Here it is. Welcome to my Sonic the Hedgehog review. I now got a real Sega Genesis. And also I have one comment on the controller. It's a little too bulky. But I was playing on it for a little bit. Hey, um, guess what? I got a real Sega Genesis. And also, I forgot that I wasn't recording for a bit, and uh, I've shown you that I have two Sonic cartridges that are both Sonic 2, and I got the box for Sonic 2, because that's what came with my real Sega Genesis, and I got Mickey Mania, and the box for it. Do you know how insanely lucky that is? have a Sega Genesis game these days with uh, okay anyways this is the first Sonic game being played on what it's meant to and I have only one thing by this zone you should know how hard it is it stops playing around literally and I'm not a master Oh, and also, guess what? What the? Is that a weird glitch? I could have made a why this glitch episode. And also, this area is a little. Wait. The audio for picking up a ring plays every time? Oh. Uh, the at game Sega Genesis is truly a piece of poop. Plus, it wasn't made by Sega, so what would I expect? I think it's basically something that is at least decent. Oh, oh my bad. I would basically have to get past that place and know, so look. You know what? I'm not fit to do it. You know? No, so this level at least is fair, unlike a certain zone. Look at this zone. And I immediately die. This game really leaves a first impression on you with every level. Or, it basically says, remember this or you're doomed. <laughs> hey, guess what? No, I don't get debug mode on yet. Time to show you the last two zones. Labyrinth zone. Mm. The zone that I hate the second most. You'll see at Scrap Brain Zone. It does so. This is basically a sub ear. Uh, this literally makes the nerds, the angry video game nerds first review, sound like he's a professional. What the? I should normally be able to duck. <laughs> this controller's down doesn't work perfectly, apparently. But it's old, so what would you expect? At least that game's controller isn't too old. Ah. What the? button worked perfectly when I was putting in the cheat. Oh. Well. Oh. <laughs> oh 
Oh no. Huh, good. I have only one word for this zone, basically. Hard. I can I can understand why this level would be hard, but not uh, marble zone. Back then, I was new to the game. I was playing on my own Xbox 360. Plus, I want to play on the real hardware to do a review. But, if it's impossible to find, then I might have to actually be forced to get a computer. At least this controller works good enough. At least pressing down isn't a part of any Sega Genesis game. Plus, I do have a six-button controller, but it, was, but it was actually made by Act Games, so... Ah. I find that this controller probably needs some maintenance, maybe? Not sure. No, but from what I can tell, this controller hasn't been aging perfectly, but it's at least been aging well. Ah. I wonder why they couldn't have added a extreme expert mode where you cannot press up or down or you die or a or b plus i mean i think it's the easiest thing to do in ever something because i'm pretty sure the sega genesis's age hasn't been aging uh, perfectly but i can only say this one is real and I'm not a used to the three-button controller. Listen. Oh no. Flurg! <sighs> you know the first time. <laughs> okay, I think the. Sega Genesis controller is starting to get easier to use. <laughs> yes, I'm making it. I've forgotten if this is a playthrough or a review. I'm not really that much of a remember. Oh wait, it's a review. Wait. Time for Starlight Zone. Ah, I know what this needs. A roll. I could it actually decided to roll. I think this Sega Genesis controller hasn't been aging perfectly though. Plus since at games is newer, I say it's still worth it to go for the real stuff. That's weird. That's weird. I thought the Sega Genesis had blast processing. Not half blast processing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. This console screen resolution is pretty good. Now I can start to fast. Hmm. Something tells me that this is uh right. I forget that thing. Because I actually couldn't really remember it. Plus. Uh, it feels like the right trigger is getting enough usage to make it a bit less tight. controller just feels wrong. Seriously, at least at games decided to go with the three button. Plus, I can only imagine how the Atari 2600 controller would work. Something tells me that it would be faulty a bit, because the Atari 2600 is the oldest game console graphics. Plus, its hardware is almost 40 years old from the band Hack show that I heard of. Uh. Now I can say that this Sonic game, so far, is being mean. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that was a lucky jump. I want to at least beat Act 1. Uh, now I can show you a special stage. Oh wait. I'm not going to be able to beat it at first try. What the? I did that. I am not going to edit a single part of this video out. I'm mostly just stopping the recording and then of uh, doing a something. Like uh like this in a way. If you were me, you would know exactly how I'm doing this video. With real Sega Genesis hardware.
only one more to explain this level. Actually, multiple. This keeps the game from being great. Oh wait, I'm such an idiot. I forgot that I actually have. Okay, the final boss. It looks beautiful. I'm pretty sure the controllers might be good. It's probably the lack of responsivity the controller has left. Robotnik, stop being so predictable. There you go, but yeah. Sort of showed up at the wrong spot. There you go. Mm. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I actually have debug mode on. And this is the ending. The bad ending, at least. Oh, and I've forgotten to tell you about the boss fights. I forgot. Let me just... Reset. I actually like the reset button a bit. It's pretty good to have. I had to beat Act 2 as quickly as possible. And also, I'll show you a video on my own Sega Genesis.
Plus, I wish consoles these days had uh, this kind of box setup. Oh wait, forgot. I got debug mode. I I swear I didn't see this before. Actually, way I can just flying to the boss fight. Why am I even caring about platforming? Wait. Perfect. Now that's the way how you fight Robotnik. Just turn him into that. And that's basically just one of the boss fights. <laughs> and there. And now, bye. And also, please leave a like.